Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And this is Two Neighbors. So Adam, what are we checking out today? Well, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we actually got a comment from somebody saying that Jim Jeffries is pretty much an asshole. Um, yeah, you know, we, we, we at the channel of Two Neighbors like Jim Jeffries stand up. Yeah. Um, and then, but we always pay attention to the comments, even if they're like, you know, hateful comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so, so we're doing this video that was sent to us by one of our subs, uh, that basically exposes Jim Jeffries in a way. I don't really know too much about it. Okay. Um, yeah. He like exposes him as like a, like a, a jerk or? Uh, yeah, exposing him as a jerk somehow. So okay. I'm sure we'll figure it out when we watch it. Um, Ryan, who, uh... Yeah, th this was requested by, cool name, Ryan Lawler. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Ryan, I appreciate that. So, Ryan Lawler, um, put hashtag my request along with the link down below, and that's what we're gonna check out today. Um, I, I like Jim Jeffries, I, I think he's hilarious, but oh, I, I could great. kind, I mean, I don't know what this is gonna be, but I could kind of see, like, how he could be a bit of a dick, like, just you know what, from though, his comedy alone, Everyone could be a dick. Sure. Everyone could be a dick, so it's it's yeah. whether or not where, where this is coming from, like, how ill intent yeah. he is. Yeah, absolutely, and I think, like, with celebrity, and again, I don't know what this is, but celebrities like literally like to some people like a celebrity could be like really busy and they're late for an appointment and someone's like, hey man, can I like can I get your yeah. autograph? Yeah. And the person just like, no, I can't, no. And then like yeah. for the rest of that person's life, they'll be around like, hey, like you know that celebrity Ryan guy, he's a real dick, right? Yeah. But like literally, you can catch him on a good day. Be like, hey, can I get an autograph? And they stop and talk to you, and it's yeah, like, oh, like, where do you go to school? And, I, and then they'll tell everyone like, oh, I met this guy, he's the coolest guy ever. So. Yeah, I think it's all about experience, so, but uh, we'll see this. So let's check uh, it out. this is called Hidden Camera Jim Jeffries Exposed by Avi Yem Yeminis. Yemin oh, yeah. Hidden Camera. Hidden, hidden Camera. Okay. All right. All right. So a few months ago, Jim Jeffries' producer contacted me and asked me to come on as a guest to his show. Now I agreed with two conditions. One, there'll be no neo-Nazi or Nazi sympathizers on the same segment because I don't want to be aligned to them and I don't want to give them any legitimacy or anything like that. Common sense. The second one was that they don't cut my answers from one question and put it to another. Now, to my horror, but not my surprise, they did exactly both. Oh, wow. Both those things. Hmm. But they went even further. They connected me to the Christchurch killer, to the terrorist. The New Zealand shooter left behind a detailed record of his anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim rhetoric. And unfortunately, these days, this kind of intolerance is being tolerated in more places than you might think. So it's important to remember that this was filmed a few months ago. And not in response to the Christchurch massacre, as they seem to be alluding here. I was shocked to hear that the prick allegedly behind the Christchurch New Zealand mass shootings is a white supremacist who grew up and was radicalised in Australia. So what is the situation down there? And what are the people who may have radicalised him saying? White people like myself feel happy and safe around my culture, my people. Sherman to nuts. You broke rule one in 20 seconds. And this anti-immigration fervor is uniting some strange groups. It turns out that the one thing that can bring together the alt-right and the Jew is their shared hatred of Muslims. Meet Jewish activist Avi Yememi, a good Australian name. Luckily I'm not an idiot, and I knew what their plan was all along. Well, they flew me to Singapore, put me in a hotel for a couple of days there. What was I to expect? It was a setup. So what I did was, yeah, I got there and I secretly put my phones down to record the entire segment. Smart. Yep. Now over the next few days I'm going to release a bunch of little clips that are important that he specifically didn't add to the piece. We filmed for about an hour and there's about three or four minutes where he's included little snippets. So in the next few days I'm going to release little bits that are important that I think everyone needs to see. But if you're on my Patreon, you can see the entire hour, I'll upload it within the next week. <laughs> Just oh, he's he's selling. Selling. <laughs> now what makes Arby suddenly feel so comfortable saying this shit out loud? I always stand by my words and I say it publicly, loudly and proudly. I won't say in private something different than what I'll say in public. And if I get it wrong, which I have at times, and I feel necessary to apologise, I've done it. And I will do it. I might sound like a hippie 
saying this, what gives anyone the right to tell anyone where they can and can't live? When you import this culture, what do you think is going to happen? Australia's going to end up the same shithole that they came from that they were escaping. Watch how Jim Jeffries has edited this last clip to make me look like an ass. See what I really said. What gives anyone the right to tell anyone where they can and can't live? Really. Like, like, um, borders, though. I know, like, borders, yeah. but wouldn't it just be nice if if we got to a place in society where we, we had utopia, no, well, this is a utopia where we all just lived as I, 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 on, 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 on a level like we may you know, say I think, I'm a dreamer. I'm I think I think one. most most people, most you know, sensible people would agree with you on theory. Yeah. But in practice, it's not. It's a, it goes against human nature. It just doesn't work. You bloody scumbag, Jim. You see those rubbish edits through the entire segment, I don't even need to show you. You get my point. They put one answer to a different question. But today what I really want to show you is how Jim Jeffries speaks about Islam, about their prophet Muhammad, and about Muslims themselves when he thinks the cameras aren't rolling or when he knows he can cut it out. Please so Muhammad is considered the perfect man. Right, yes. Okay? You can't and draw a picture of him. No, don't you dare, don't you dare. I've got enough death threats on me, brother. There he is. Jesus Christ. There he is. He looks like a wobbly ghost. He's finally going to understand Islam <laughs> after this shit comes down. <laughs> That's what you do, Jimmy, when you think no one's going to see it. Now, I don't actually have a problem if you draw Muhammad, to be honest. That's, that's me. But people like you call me an Islamophobe because that riles up, that upsets, that, in your words, triggers the Muslim into violence. Now, I wonder when this goes far and wide and help it, share it around, let the world see. I want to see if the leftists condemn Jim. And even more so, what I'm interested to see is the people that he is hell-bent on protecting, the people that he is fighting so hard to let into Australia and the US, Let's see how they react when they see him mock their prophet. You know what the punishment for blasphemy is, Jim? I wish you luck, brother. But it gets worse. Watch what he says when the cameras aren't rolling. I'm not a big fan of Islam. I think that wearing a burqa is stupid and demeaning and all these things. Islam, Islam, Islam. or dingo? Islam and dingo, the dingo sneaky? Yeah. Probably both. Probably both. Dangerous? Right. Probably both. Probably both. I think I ate a baby. It turned yeah. out she, it did eat a baby. Uh, if it ate a bloody Muslim baby, it would have vomited. No, I don't no, actually that's agree with that. that shit. No, I won't joke. But that's not funny. You're talking about fucking killing kids. No, it's like, not that's funny. That's crossing a line. There's a fucking uh, line. We've got this bit out. I, I never look bad in his image. He's right. Jim never looks bad in his own segments. He edits it perfectly. And nine out of ten times he wins. He makes... People like me look bad. Like Jordan Peterson, Peterson look bad. But today, I've got you, brother. How's it feel? So that's all I'm saying to you, is that we don't disagree at all? Nah, mate. We don't agree. I never, ever, ever even joke about killing Muslims. So I'm gonna ask you all at home, make sure to share this far and wide. Share it with everyone. Because Jim works with the establishment, he has the mainstream media, he has the platform, he has the numbers. But I, I have you. All right, so interesting take. I will say first and foremost, that the Jim Jeffries show is strictly entertainment. And his goal is to entertain people. And unfortunately, he uses those tactics to heighten the entertainment. Mm. I don't take anything on the Jim Jeffrey show at face value, truthfully. Yeah. That's not to say I'm like saying what Jim Jeffries did is okay. Yeah. It's not. I think a lot of shows probably do that. Um, Tons of shows do that. You know, and he and took it extremely. Again, like, I, I don't know, like Jim Jeffries seems like he's constantly in a state of like, you know, like a constant state of just saying things, whether the jokes or not, just to like, you know, basically rile people up as, you know, as much as he can. And I, yeah. I mean, I get that. I don't know 
you know, uh, in terms of like, obviously, you know, some of the stuff people are gonna get offended by, but yeah. I look at like, you know, Jim Jeffrey's show as being like, you know, other just like entertainment shows. Like honestly, if you watch like those like crazy entertainment shows, like like Jerry Springer or yeah. Fox News or Shock you know, so <laughs> where it's yeah. just you know, it's pure you can't take that stuff seriously, yeah. right? Yeah, and I think that's because I mean Jim Jeffries kind of like he's talking about real world events and things that are going on, and then puts a comedic spin on them, um, and obviously fabricates them slightly to you know heighten the uh, the viewer watching time. Yeah, you know so. Yeah. I don't know. This doesn't change my point of view of Jim Jeffries as far as the comedian because he's he's funny. I like his I like his uh, I like his stand up a lot. Um, do, am I crazy about the what happened here? No, I'm not. But I don't. I don't really watch this kind of Jim Jeffries. That's yeah. my opinion. Yeah, so. I think like uh, again, you know, I, I think in the way that he's saying certain things and like then like again, you know, saying he's gonna like draw the picture and stuff. Like he's really like you know, he. I think he's trying to get a reaction. Sure. From yeah, the guy. For sure. Um, you know, I mean, if, look, if there's a video out there and Jim Jeffries is like literally out there saying like crazy stuff like Conor Radical Phil. things. Yeah, that's a different story. I, I don't know for this. Personally, that, that's my opinion, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, as an interviewer, which he was, you mm -hmm. know, you might say things that you you don't necessarily agree with in, from your perspective. Yeah. Just to get something out of your uh, subject. Absolutely. Look, I mean, yeah, so if you guys haven't, you might have seen the movie, but if you haven't seen like the full Frost Nixon interviews, um, very, very interesting. And um, Frost did like, that exact thing, like he he would say things during an interview, yep. and during that interview to get him off guard, to get him riled up, and even agree with him on things that he fundamentally didn't agree with, right. to put him outside his comfort zone or bring him in closer, so he could then you know elicit a response that was more in line with what he wanted to eventually hear. And I don't know, um, you know, I don't know for sure if if that's what Jim Jeffries was doing, but it's certainly a tactic used by interviewers, um, all, all the great interviewers over time where, you know, they will agree on certain things they don't necessarily agree on and yeah. then quickly switch gears and it throws that person off. Yeah. And, and David Frost did a fantastic job in Frost Nixon and ultimately ended up eliciting the one answer that he wanted to hear, yeah. which was, Richard Nixon saying, you know, when the president does something, it's not illegal, yep. which, you know, he's so effective. And I don't know if that's what he's very relevant here, today. But very relevant today. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I mix mixed emotions about it. it is what it is. I mean, to me personally, uh, I don't get too riled up over this interview, so, but yeah. Needless to say, guys, we do appreciate you guys sending, uh, sending us this clip. Um, these, guys, this is the kind of stuff that we like, you know, this is, we would have never thought to do a video that, you know, kind of puts Jim Jeffries in that light. So we enjoy seeing that kind of content and changing up the story of these guys and girls that we're watching. So if you guys have a request, please put it down below with hashtag my request and a URL link. Uh, and also guys, please, we have a sponsor, okanswag.com. Please check out their gear. Uh, you can see me and Ryan are rocking some sweaters. Um, we're giving you 20% off. If you put in two neighbors when you check out at the uh, checkout, so 20% uh, off, free shipping, and uh, and it's Canadian dollars. And it's Canadian dollars. Very cheap for the American viewers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan, what else should they do? Like, share, and subscribe, guys. It helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. That's it for our show today, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.